Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna be uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make <clears throat> an infinite stamina mod for this game Ashen as you can see I can uh, Use as much stamina as I want And nothing happens So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it in three different ways uh, So I'm gonna start with the easiest way and then I'm gonna st uh, go to the advanced ways uh, to do this. So, uh, if you are wondering on how to get the address for stamina, I'm gonna give you the uh, simplest uh, answer. Uh, just go and look for float value, and then uh, go inside the game and see how much stamina you have. I have 90 stamina. So type in exact value 90 and then change your stamina and then say uh, unchanged uh, and then say let's say 90 here okay and then uh, say changed when it changes and then uh, unchanged when it it does not uh, this is typical how to how to this is a typical way how to search for uh, the stamina value and then you can find this this address here. This is the the stamina address for my for my character. As you can see, it changes when I when I um, use my stamina. So now, how to write a script like this in three different ways? In three different ways to make it uh, to make an infinite stamina mod. Uh, to do that, just find the stamina value. As I told you before, it's a float value, and it's gonna be uh, 90 here for my character for my level and I'm gonna do uh, find out what access is this address uh, you know what I'm gonna find out what writes to my address just to make it easier for no just to make it easier for the CPU to handle all the stuff see uh, there's this is the the initial stop this this command reads our stamina or writes always to our stamina and this that we don't want to mess with this maybe it's gonna crash the game and we have here this is then the other one that uses that um, uh, this is the uh, the one that um, increase decreases our stamina and this is uh, the command that uh, 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 g goes up again uh, as it fills the the stamina bar so if you want to make uh, uh, anything if you want to change the rate of stamina uh, generation you can pick this this address here and uh, mess with it but we will use this we just want to make uh, we just want to make an infinite stamina cheat so we will not uh, we will not need uh, stamina regeneration. So this is this is the the uh, the uh, value that writes to our stamina. As you can see, it did two times. It just goes immediately and uh, um, lowers our stamina, and then this one uh, counts up. As you can see, it did three uh, thirty-nine times. It did this process th thirty-nine times. That 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 shows you that this this increases your stamina. So we will select this, and then we will uh, show in the in the disassembler. Now, uh, let's write a script. So before I go, <laughs> before I go further, maybe a ton of you are uh, has left the game, has left the video already when you, when you see this stuff. This is intimidating <laughs> at first. So uh, yeah, this this is really intimidating and i don't blame you if blame you if you don't want to continue but this is easy it's really easy just uh, you have to know the commands this is the command the command list uh, opcode uh, operation code and these are the bytes these this is the ma machine language and this is assembly language as you can see so this f3 0 th f um 11 this thing all the this string means this here move the stamina uh, uh, 
value to our stem current stamina address that's it that's all to it just move the memory from this address here in the memory to this address that holds our current stamina and then display it inside the game that's it uh, so just select this one and then go tools and then auto assemble this is the the simplest form um, to making an infinite stamina mod uh, say AOB injection and then OK and then OK I will do I will delete this here and then under here under code just delete that and then if you can see here if we go and replace with a code that does nothing you can see here the uh, the game the cheat engine has knopped which is which is essentially um, deletes the the opcode it deletes the instructions so we can use we can uh, do the same thing here in our script because um, the game will drop us the cheat engine will drop us at this this location which is this one as you can see it's the same F3 these are same bytes so we can just go inside cheat engine and then type knob 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 eight times as cheat engine did one two three four five six seven and then eight knob uh, this is the first way you can just assign it to current cheat tape oh. okay you can and don't delete jump return this this is needed just don't delete it just keep those here this is the simplest form of doing an infinite stamina mod <clears throat> so uh, as you can see we will we will uh, uh, assign to current cheat table all right and then I'll change the name inf1 so if I enable the script see this this place here see this address here see it will jump it will jump to a new place in memory so if we go here and follow this as you can see it knobbed it did the same thing for our uh, it did the same thing as cheat engine cheat engine did when we uh, did this replace with a code that does nothing it did eight knobs and then it added eight knobs and then if we go inside the game and use our stamina it doesn't change All right uh, that's the f the first uh, the uh, the simplest uh, let's say the simplest um, form of infinite stamina mods uh, the second form is this we will go to assign uh, tools this is the uh, second form <laughs> uh, AOB ejection it's the same but instead of uh, doing an AOB scan and all allocating memory and all of that stuff we will just <laughs> delete this this will just um, uh, What's it called? Uh, sorry, I forgot. I messed up. Go to tools and then auto assemble and then AOB injection and then copy this. I didn't copy this. You have to copy this. Uh, the first window will pop up and show you the address, the same address here, this one. You have you you'll either have to. Mm, uh, copy this from here or you can uh, just template AOB injection and copy this all right and then we will not um, we will not uh, uh, we will not allocate memory we will not do all of this stuff we will just uh, uh, where is that uh, all right uh, 
you know it's it's better to allocate so we can we don't we do not mess up our we do not mess up our codes so let's just let's just do this instead uh, we will say assert it's essentially the same thing as before but in another fancy way uh, we will uh, uh, paste our address that we have uh, that we have uh, copied before and then we will we will uh, copy those here those bytes there and then we will say DB define byte and then we will say nine zero 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 eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, eight times. As I st as I told you guys, this is the 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 uh, knob instruction. Uh, as this, as you can see here, if we replace with the code that does nothing, see, it's this is the assembly language and this is the machine language, the CPU language. So nine zero is the equivalent to knob here uh, in the assembly language which will and knob is just cancels the instruction so we will just assert our our address if this address is there we will assert those bytes if there is if there are those bytes then just delete them all right just delete them one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. That's the second. That's the second. Uh, uh, a second uh, way of doing. The other way of doing an infinite stamina mod. The most advanced way, which is this one. Options. I'll go back to my address. My stamina address. As you can see, if I enable this too, it will uh, see. It still gives me infinite stamina. It's the same. All right. So the the third and last one is we will go here, and then we will say find out what uh, addresses this instruction accesses. In this in this. Um, uh, method we will use our maximum stamina to write uh, into our current stamina I will show you guys how to do that I'll, I'll explain as I do it as you can see we have used our stamina for once and this address this instruction accesses this in this address this instruction um, changes this address as you can see here uh, we pressed here and then we said uh, find out uh, what instruction uh, what addresses this instruction accesses and then uh, we have this here address here stop it and then we will say uh, open dissect data with selected addresses alright it will show us this page here and this is where our char character has uh, this is some stuff related to our character, all right? Uh, and then, uh, so this this tree, as you can see, it's it's uh, it has a lot of addresses, all right? And this is the main address, which is which is RBX, and then these are offsets. These offsets um, have all types of information, but w what we are interested in is offset 1 to C which is our current stamina as you can see here there it is I can s no no it's not uh, 1 C 1 C 1 2 C 1 2 C there it is there it is this is our our uh, 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 current stamina as you can see if I cho ch uh, go inside the game and change it you can see it it changes. All right. 
see there it changes but this one does not change see this this is 90 this will go to 90 I think no it changed okay so these two are near each other so that that tells us that they are if they are related th there's a high high chance that yeah, they are related and this is our maximum stamina so our maximum stamina is 990 as you can see inside the game our maximum stamina is 90 so this is 90 all right and this one changed so it's definitely not ma our maximum stamina and this one changes so this is our current stamina so we will use this offset from rbx from the register rbx to write into this it will write always 90 instead of r reducing the the amount here all right let's do this let's do this tools auto assemble template aob injection okay okay so now we will go inside the code and we will delete this this is the instruction that lowers our our stamina so now we will use another register to to put uh our maximum stamina in and then we will move that register into our current register which is rbx all right which is rbx and then we will put it inside our current stamina i'll show you guys how to do that so i will choose another register what are the registers registers are like trees uh, cores tree cores that that holds a main address and that address has offsets uh, I'll show you guys just a second uh, there it is okay stop it see those see those here just a second okay these these are the registers these are the trees all right these are the trees that hold our base addresses this can change, can hold uh, as many addresses, so many addresses, different addresses, but um, <clears throat> it's d different for 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 our character, and it's different for the uh, uh, the other character that that is with us, and it's different for the enemies. So these these hold uh, different information for each part of the game, right? So our for our character for our character and for this um uh, stamina uh, <coughs> stamina instruction uh, R rbx rbx the register rbx holds our uh, current stamina in the offset the branch um one two c and it also holds our maximum stamina in the branch one uh, three zero as we can see here uh, where is it where is it there it is one three zero all right and then and so we can use <coughs> we can't just move our our uh, we can't just move our stamina our our maximum stamina into our current stamina just like this let's say move uh, rbx plus one to C All right and then uh, RBX plus one three zero we can't do this this will crash the game because these are uh, these are our base uh, these are information addresses these are not instructions uh, and I'm <laughs> I do not know how to explain this very well uh, so just know that we can't use this we can't use this form of uh, 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 form of um, instruction just we have to move this inside the register and then move the register inside this right so this will be like this we will use we'll choose an another register We'll choose another register in, uh, other than RBX. Is it RBX? Yes, it's RBX. Yeah. We will choose another uh, um, 
we will, we will choose another register other than RBX. I will choose RCX because it's it's not used. Uh, it's not used. It's zero 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 zero. I'll choose. You can choose any any other uh, register as long as it's not the same register. All right. So I'm gonna. Um, we will push the register. Um, RCX. All right. We will push the register RCX because uh, this will pre preserve all all the inf the information for uh, uh, for the game. In, uh, as I told you, this this is a tree, and it holds other uh, other information for other characters and other instructions inside the game. So we'll have to push this away uh, to push it on the stack. Uh, these these are uh, assembly terms. <laughs> uh, so we will push it away just to preserve it and not mess with it, its contents, and then we will move something inside of it, which is our maximum uh, stamina. So we will move our uh, maximum stamina inside of it. R C X. R C X. So we will push the register, and then we will move the address, the the amount, the content of our maximum stamina, which is. 90 here this is our maximum stamina this is our maximum health uh, this is our m current stamina so instead of going reducing the current stamina all right it will move this inside of this it will always be 90 so uh, this is 90 all right and then we will move yeah that's it we will move RCX inside our our uh, uh, our um, current stamina. All right, and then we will pop uh, RCX. The popping RCX means it it. It brings back R RCX and it puts back all the information inside of it. The register uh, RCX. <clears throat> so if you want to learn about this, you can go to... Uh, uh, you can go and search for assembly language on, you, on Google. And you can learn about all of this stuff. Just uh, know that this, this is a little bit complicated. And I hope I simplified something for you. And um, uh, that's it. That's all you need to know here. Just uh, assign to current cheat table. All right. Uh, this is the new script in three. And this is the last. Uh, as you can see, it's still. I still have. I still don't use any stamina. I love this. <laughs> I love this move. See, I don't use stamina. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to tune in for the next one. And make sure to check out my uh, gameplay of this game. I'm still in this area. I didn't I didn't leave. And uh, I just wanted to do these... To make these um, uh, mods. And show you guys how to make them. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.